All right, guys, the video you're about to see is of a salvage yard in Coffeyville, Kansas called Perky's, and I believe they sell used cars there. I Googled it. You can Google it. There's a phone number there, which I'm going to show that right after this clip. I have a little screenshot from Google that shows their phone number and everything. That is packed full of vintage cars. They do sell parts, and I'm pretty sure they'll sell cars too, but uh, I am not affiliated with them at all. I have been there many times in the last probably 15 years. Uh, I have always gotten good deals on the parts, but I've pulled them myself. And with that being said, they are very, very, they've always been good to me. Always been polite and always been good to me. So I am would not be interested if somebody sees a part that they, they're just dying to have and you're out of state. I'm not going to drive an hour over there to get these parts for you. I'm just not going to do it. All I have is my truck. It uses oil. It smokes. The engine needs an overhaul. And I'm not interested in driving that truck an hour and getting stranded on the side of the road. You know what I mean? So you might call them. I don't know if they'll pull the parts and ship. Who knows? You'll, you're, you're on your own. I do want to say there is two cars in particular in the video that I know the prices of. One of them is ended up being a 68 Chevelle SS396 with the 12 bolt in it. That car is already sold. You'll see it in one of the videos, probably not part one. But the other one is a 73 Chevy Vega. It's orange with a white stripe on the hood and on the hatch. Uh, and in the door handle, it says Millionth Vega. I did a little research on that that night when I got home. There's only 6,500 made. It has no engine, no transmission. It does have a title, but they want $2,000 for it. And that I'm not interested for that. But the 68 SS 396 Chevelle body is already sold. But with that being said, enjoy the footage. I will say I had a buddy of mine. Uh, he, I, I told him that me and another friend of mine went to this salvage. And he's mad that I'm going to post a video because that's where he sometimes goes and gets parts for cars. So he's looking at it at a selfish point of, well, somebody else is probably going to get a part that he may need. I look at it as somebody's car is going to get to stay on the road with those parts that are there. And also, it keeps the doors open on that building when they sell parts. So instead of them waiting around for him to buy parts, you know, that's the way I'm looking at it. So enjoy, guys. All right, guys, got a hell of a treat for you today. So I'm with a friend of mine, Scott Smith. Say hello, Scott Smith. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Caught him off guard. So we are at South Coffeyville, Oklahoma, the Kansas State Line. This is actually County Line Road, or State Line Road here. And we're waiting on a train. It's but going we're, from Oklahoma to Kansas. Yeah. Right here. Like, that's Kansas. That's Oklahoma. So... We're on our way to Perky's Auto Salvage. And lots of old stuff there. I haven't been here, probably been a year or two now. Lots of old stuff, like uh, gonna video a lot of stuff so you, you'll get to see some cool stuff, I hope. Back last time I was here, you could tell a lot of stuff was already sold, but I know there's probably still lots of stuff here. But Scott's never been, so I talked him into taking half a day off from work. <laughs> His wife will kill him later. But. <laughs> We are gonna to go to the salvage, so stay tuned. All right, so 57 Bel Air two-door sedan. Might not look too bad on this side, but this side, not so much. Missing a quarter panel. me to make him an offer on it so this is when you park up front and you get to walking there's a neat wall hanger that door off of that yeah. Jones plumbing that is cool Now 
This is not something you see very often. A super cab. I have one of those at home. Oh, you do? Yeah. Need to grab a bed gun on that one. Quite a bit of newer stuff. Well, what I consider newer up here, but uh, when we get back here to the back, that's when the stuff gets real awesome. Derby car. Oh, well, there's a problem right there, drinking and driving. <laughs> and a little video of that for my wife. This was her, well, this is not her car, but she had one just like this, a 5.0 RS Capri. It wasn't the bubble, it was the, well, it's even T-tops. Hers was a regular hatchback, not the bubble back. Not trying to offend any Ford guys, I've just, that's not my cup of tea and I may not even call it the right thing. <laughs> Look at all this 64 power. So when I was building my Cutlass Salon, I've been out here several times and I could not find this car like the very last time I come out here and I gave up and then here it is. <laughs> here it is. This is definitely not everybody's cup of tea, but I like these oddball aero cars. It's preferably two door, but I got something off this car back years ago, but I don't remember what it was. Well, yours on the two door. Yeah. I don't remember what it was. Is that a 50, that's 59, isn't it? Yeah, it's 59, yep. Four door sedan. I think that's the, we're getting ready to start getting into the, the stuff I really like. Oh, there's a flat top. Flat top. Another flat top, small block. Oh boy. Looks like we got some 58s. There used to be a two-door hardtop down here a little ways. The deal ring. It would be impossible, guys, for me to go around every single car and video every single thing. This place is huge. Here's the hard top. Back when I seen it, at last it had quarters on it. Somebody's come out here and cut the quarters off of that. Golly, that's a shame. When I seen it, it didn't have a deck lid, it didn't have doors. I'm pretty sure it had a fender on it, I don't remember, but it definitely had the quarters on it. So somebody got them some quarters. Everything is kind of, from this point on, is going to be a little bit more organized. So we're going back in time right now. Well, you know, that over there, not, not counting that. But right through here is all 60. 58 to 60, what, 4 or something. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bubble top. I don't remember seeing this car. Boy, it is crusty. Like it has a the upper window top stainless, but the rest of the lower is gone. That belt line right there is not bad. One little dinger there looks like. Has the rear channel. Let you know right there how long this poor car has been sitting out here. Look at the tree growed into this. like it was probably a that might have been a hard top oh it was a hard top there's a door 
Another door. Very few on two doors, but it's mainly four doors. Two, two door there. sedan, 60. It's been sitting in the mud a long time. The Impala. I can't believe the door spears are still on this. The checker cab. That's like every time you see one of these sitting somewhere, a four door, the spears, spears are, gone. are gone. Wow. Oh, wow. Look at the stainless trim on the seats or aluminum, whatever that is. That's aluminum, aluminum isn't it? Yeah. The only thing I see missing so far is the steering wheel. Yeah, dash parts and all is in it. Even has the motor. Still got the VIN number. Dang, man. That's amazing. Wow. I know, I've been sitting there a long time. <laughs> Rochester 2 Jet. Still got the manifolds on it. Now, if you guys really want to see what we came here for, we're not here for the Fords, we're not here for the Mopars. We're here for these. Look at that. I'm going to show you probably the longest row of dead 57 Chevy fins you'll ever see in one place. Not at a car show, dead. Four door hardtop 56 Chevy. Bel Air. <laughs> Look down this way. Now, if I remember right, it goes all the way past that evergreen tree. It goes around. That's a 69, looks like. Chevelle. Yep. Monte Carlo, 56, four door Bel Air. 68 Chevelle, yeah. There's two door post 56. I don't think I knew this was here. Like the passenger side door. Got the Motorola factory AM radio in it. Tree trying to grow into the quarter panel. It's not yet, but it's trying to. So what I am looking for is probably that right there. I am trying to locate an easy eye back window for my wife's four door 55. That's the easy eye there. I'm not paying the price for a new one. He told me 75 bucks, so it might be this one right here. There's another two-door post 56 Chevy. Oh my, this one's buried in the ground. <laughs> oh man. 210 two-door sedan 56. Oh! And now we know why this one wound up out here. Yeah. Man, look at that. It's like one dinger right there. Though the rest of that is nice. I'm going to stick that in the car. Just in case somebody might need to come back and get that. So this is called Perky's. Auto salvage in South Coffeyville, Oklahoma. It may be Kansas number. It may be. Oh, this this is the Kansas side. We're in Kansas. Okay, so they may be listed as Kansas. So you can Google it. You'll find it. I'm still recording. Yep. Yeah. 
four door 210. Another four door 210 56. Well, that Ford's out of place. I know. So I did, didn't see what they were doing, needing glasses. Four door hardtop 57. Fifty-six. There's a cut-up fifty-seven four-door. There's a fifty-six four-door. Fifty-seven four-door. Another four-door hardtop fifty-seven. Another four-door hardtop fifty-seven. Four-door two ten. There's a station wagon 57, 210 four door. There's some quarter moldings right there. That one's pretty wasted. There's a Bel Air 57 top quarter fin. It looks pretty nice actually. It looks really nice. Seven Bel Air four door sedan in the tree. It looks like that's it. And I thought there was a whole lot more than that. Well, I'll just say it's the most tail fin 57s I've ever seen, and in, in a salvage, we'll say, that I've been to personally. And then I think it's all Buick and Pontiac and all that kind of stuff over there, but the 55s are over around the left, over on their own spot. So that's where we're headed next. I'm just getting a little bit more of the 57s here, guys, because it's just, it's kind of overwhelming. So this is all hardtop specific, because this is a four-door hardtop. Still has some of the stainless that could be used on a two-door. Still has the instrument cluster in it. Well, they butchered that dash to pieces. Look at that. Yeah. A lot of the stainless is ruined, but there might be a couple of pieces here and there. Oh, that one's broke off. That's out of. I don't know, boy, that thing's huge in there. Some full floater here in. It's a shame seeing them like this, but I gotta tell you, for the guys like us that, you know, we might be looking for a piece of stainless trim or just something and, and it's gonna be here. Especially for a four-door sedan like we, we have. This stuff is everywhere. Glass. Yes, it is. Two to a hard top. Quarter glass. Man. A lot of them's been picked over a little bit, but there's still quite a bit of usable stainless and trim stuff everywhere. There's an Oklahoma license plate for 69. Yep. I'd like to get that. How about this spare tire wheel not rough to that? I don't know. <laughs> Look at all the stuff in the trunk of this old Ford. Oh, that's Pontiac, right? Yeah, sure is. Is that what it is? I'm not 100%. Yeah, that is. That's pretty awesome. Seven bumper. Isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Got those uh, rubber bumper underneath. Look how all of the core supports are cut. Yeah. I don't even know what this 56 is. It's four door. 
sedan. Got a deluxe heater in it. That was the only easy eye glass I actually was looking for. I was too busy vi videoing everything. <laughs> what is that two door hardtop? Is that a Pontiac or something? Yep. It's a 60 or 59. 59 or 60. Is that a two door? Yep. Oh, this one? Yeah. Yep. Nova. Missing the door. Wow. That right there. Is... Can't get up there to it, guys. That's as good as it gets. Oh man, another two door. Five or six, I can't tell what it is. <laughs> Four oh, car. Left, though, 56, I can tell by the paint divider. It's the only thing left on it. And it's still nice. On. Here's the rear garnish molding for a two door. They just butchered off the posts and all right off the roof. Both sides. Golly. Looks like in the whole back. One piece. I can't even tell what all that stuff is. There's where I'm headed right there. <laughs> uh, I can tell you guys, I don't think we've even got a a sixteenth of this place yet. This place is huge. Lots and lots of cars, especially over on that side. <clears throat> We're Tri-5 Chevy guys. And, well, Scott has a little collection of a little bit of everything, but... Looks like a whole bunch of Buicks. Yep. Let me see a... All right, so we got a... Hardtop. Uh, Four-door. Buick two-door hardtop. Four door 55. Another four door 55. Four door. Well, I already see a couple things I might want. I might grab that door panel stainless, front and back if they're still good. Somebody sat in there and drank beer. <laughs> uh oh, they don't want to go back down now. Almost. Oh, Them tags gone. Yeah, somebody stripped this old girl out pretty good. <laughs> People's been out here hacking them up, that's for sure. Look at that 55 hood. What a shame. Somebody, Somebody run over it, looks like. Oh man, this one's got a grill and everything in it. Hey, the core support's not cut. That one's not either. It's bent, but it's not cut. That's a V8 support. That's the six. That one's straight. Here's the, you need this for your car? Oh, it's bent. Probably break when you yep, unbolt it. There'd be one in that car though. Well, the lower's there and the upper's right there. If you need those, I don't know if you need them or not. Oh, man, I do need these. What do you call these pieces? Thunder extensions. I think I need this one. Man. They're straight. Thanks. Look like they might be fixable. Seat shell stainless. Uh, it's got a little bend in it. I'll throw it in the car anyway for some reason. 210 horn ring. Yeah. Speedometer piece. Here, we'll just assemble the car back. <laughs> oh man, look at the dash. Somebody cut it out. All right, I need 
I actually want that door panel stainless piece too because this is a 210. Offer belt line for up here. I almost fell over that seat spring. All right, moving on. This quarter's cut off. 56 hood, wasted. Yeah, they they still don't take the hood bird off. <laughs> Their Bel Air four door. Ooh, this one got hit. Look at that. <laughs> Crunched the tail light up in there. What's this license plate say? 67. Makes you wonder if that trunk's never been open all these decades. What's in there? I don't think there is one ding in this quarter molding on this car. Not one ding in the end of that one. I'm just gonna stick my arm in here with the GoPro. This one has the extensions and the apron on it. This one's fixable. These would probably be the ones I got, Scott. That one's actually got a whoopty in it, but I think that's fixable. Street six, got inner fenders. Hood engines are on it, but they are rusty. That's a nice apron. Well, I would like to have that. The other one's got the bumper in the way. That one there would come off pretty easy. Yeah. Here's a two-door sedan door for a Bel Air 55, but it is crunched. That door is wasted. <laughs> Rusted away. So is the deck lid. And I'm about to fall in the mud. That Bel Air quarter molding right there. I don't see any dents in this one. Man. Oh yeah, this is the rolled one. Oh no, it's crashing the front. It sure is. Steering column. Why won't it? Man, this thing was hit hard. Two-door sedan Bel Air 55. Heavy impact. There's the bracket for the front fender. <laughs> Sheared the rivets off of it. Golly. Manual trans car. Somebody, uh, somebody had to get hurt in this one. Probably you had to get dentures after that. Yeah. See the A pillar bent back over there? That's amazing. This salvage is about an hour 
little over an hour, just hair over an hour from where I live. So this is not a place that I can come back often, you know what I mean? That one has all the window track and regular and everything in that side. Looks like all the window track stuff's going over this one. Almost looks like it's not in too bad a shape on this quarter. I mean, it's, you know, obviously got waves in it and stuff, but then you get back here and you see a little patch right there. <laughs> Golly. And there's still quite a bit of usable parts here. Look at the rash on the... Uh, yeah. Can't work that out, can you? As many of them as there's here, there's... <laughs> there's a nice one right here. Another Bel Air quarter molding there for four door. This one looks like it's meant to. I mean, meant like no dents and gouges and stuff. V8 two barrel. There's me a fender top right there. Brow's not rusted out. Nope. And mine is. And that fender is wasted. I'm gonna see what he wants for that. I might have him. I might just fold it up and put it in the back of your car if you need. <laughs> <laughs> I videoed this one or not. Another straight course for V8 readers right there. Got something up here. That other one was pretty nice on that other side. Is that video? I don't even remember what I videoed and what I haven't videoed now. <laughs> I think, yeah, this is the one I want the Bel Air trim off the door panels, but I really, I need the 210 trim worse because mine's a 210. Definitely not as many 55s as he has 57s. He might have more 56s too, I don't know. 